concert D major triad. the first exercise the four for modest um, and try to be less gargantuan <laughs> shorter than you are and we're all small people compared to you so make your patterns to gesture small all right you want me to do the first line again yeah um and change. uh change the fermata if you want to or if you want to put it someplace <coughs> else that's fine but either one Three. Be convincing of well, get the 
sound that you want. When, okay, <laughs> Kristen is not allowed to answer this question. <laughs> When do you prepare for the next note? Where? What? On the rebound, yes. But even more specifically. Do you guys know? The rebound of the previous note. What? The rebound of the previous note. The rebound of the previous note, yes. It's hard to decide where the rebound starts, right? So can you give me something more definitive than that? When does your responsibility as a conductor for that note begin? When? Change of direction. Uh, yeah, they're not. Okay. That's a pretty. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. You're right. Accurate, just not the way you expect to hear it. It's right after that note. I mean, once you beat it, that note, boom. That's when the next note starts. You're, you're still legato when you ought to be prepping for staccato. That's why he had you do it again. So, do it again. Do the first two measures and get a light, crisp staccato, or get get whatever kind of staccato you want. But okay. that's better. Part of it is the the prep gesture for the staccato was legato for all practical purposes. So. That was better. Yeah. Okay, uh, and then the last thing is that your uh, fermata, your Cicera fermata, you didn't go all the way through it. You stopped before on the release. Okay. okay.